Thank you for joining this quick troubleshooting video. In this video, we are going to learn about query plan tool and few simple examples on making query selective. The query plan tool in the developer console can help us to optimize and speed up the queries done over large volumes. In order to enable the query plan tool, go to developer console, click on help, preferences, and set enable query plan flag to true. Once you enable this, you can see the button in the bottom. I'm using a simple query with ID, name, title, account ID from contact. Let me quickly grab the query. Once we hit the once we enter the query in the query editor, now press the query plan button. Each plan will contain information on cardinality, operation type, and many more fields. Now let's learn about what these fields are. Cardinality, the estimated number of records that the leading operation type would return is the cardinality. Here it is two because I have only two contacts with this particular account ID. Coming to the fields. The indexed fields used by the query optimizer. The forced outcome query optimizer used account ID as an indexed field in this particular query. Leading operation type index. The query will use an index on the queried object. If it's a table scan, the query will scan all the records for the queried object. Coming to the cost and the most important part of the query plan tool. The first outcome query optimizer has a threshold value for the cost. Any query is said to be non-selective if the cost is more than one. It is said to be selective if the cost is under one and the performance and there would be a lot of performance difference between those two queries. A subject cardinality. The approximate record count for the query object. This is a brand new dev org I'm using, so the count is less. However, we see large record counts in a live production org. A subject type, the name of the query. We'll be seeing all the different possible plans every query optimizer can use in order to retrieve results. This is one plan and this is the second plan. We usually see multiple plans which the query optimizer uses. Now let's modify this query and see what happens. We can see that the cost is very high. It's 2.94 and the query is non-selective in nature. Even when we are using the account ID field, which is an indexed field, the query plan does a full table scan as we are using a negative filter. You can see the cheat sheets for more information on what filters we can use in order to optimize our queries. Thank you for watching this video and we hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please visit the Salesforce help portal where you can find great resources including communities, documentation, trails, or you can also contact support. Happy trailblazing!